Welcome back, homies. Welcome back to the blog. I'm your host, DJ NWMI, which stands for Never Would Have Made It. All right, I'm gonna be straightforward, and honest with you. This controller is for people who broke, broke, we ain't got it. So if you don't have the money, you broke, you can't afford really much of nothing, you can't make a dollar out of 15 cents, can't rub a dime and a nickel together, but you can scratch a dollar up every other day, this controller is for you. You the one I'm talking to right now. You the one who need to go get this controller. You need, don't worry about what everybody say about the little controller that you have. Remember, it's not the equipment that makes the DJ, it's the DJ that makes the equipment. So don't be afraid to go out there and cop this little controller. Don't be afraid because you don't have a lot of money. This way you can get started in the DJ and you can start learning how to DJ. So check it out. This could be a good product for you. Let's talk about it. The DJ to go to. The cheapest controller on the internet by Newmark. This controller typically goes with anywhere between 60 to 80 dollars brand new. Used, I've seen it between 30 and 40 bucks. I believe this controller is for teenagers or for DJs where your pockets are tight. Where you ain't got much money to spend, where you're trying to get in DJ, you're trying to do everything you can to get in, but you just don't have the money to spend. You can't afford 250 on a DJ 400 or SP3. You just trying to find the easiest way to get into DJ to learn how to practice your craft. Okay, I believe this controller is for you. Now, let me tell you the cons to this controller. It is quite a few of them. For one, you ain't got no line faders. Sorry, it is what it is. Pitch fader, very short. And the one that gets everybody all the time, EQs. No highs, no mids, no lows. It just don't have it. Now, it's a few little small other cons to it, but I think those are the negotiable, but those are the main big ones that you're really gonna have to worry about. Now, let's go in depth about the controller. Let's look at it real quick. All right, folks, here it is. DJ to go to the controller. Pitch fader, which I told you, short. You got your sync, which as we all know. Can't touch this. Don't touch this. Let MC I'm gonna tell you. That sync button, uh-uh-uh, we're not gonna touch it. Let me see how I'm tell you about it. You got your cue, you got your play, you got your four hot pads. Okay, this is where your master level is. <clears throat> the volume for side one, the level volume for side two. This is the cue level for your headphones. These are your jogs. Remember with these jogs, you're unable to scratch on them when the song is playing. Of course, your crossfader. It's a very simple controller, something that I believe a lot of DJs can get with, especially when you're beginning. It can be cheap, affordable, and something that you can play with that I think you will like. Again, this is the DJ to go to controller. Again, that's the DJ to go to controller by Newmark. A great, affordable, little small controller that a lot of DJs can get into and can like. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell so you can see anytime I have a video. I typically upload two to three times a week, typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, folks, have a great day. Appreciate you for watching. Catch you next time.